putting the uh, the head ball coach on the spot about some rapper. I don't keep up with them. Let's go back to the calls. And Uncle Lou in Augusta, Georgia is up next. Oh, what's going on, buddy? How are you? Oh, Carolina and uh, Mizzou, that ought to be a real barn burner. I guess I'll take uh, Mizzou 6-2. to two. That's about All right. right. Uh, I think it could yeah. be 6-4. to four. Six to four. It could be. It could be. Their defense is okay. And uh, who would have who ever thought that the person that called in on a pay phone would be an Auburn fan from Alabama? That, 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 that was a shocker. Uh, 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 and down by, down by the way, the only place I think they still the, the only place I think they still do have pay phones are jails. Oh, that could be a possibility too. But uh, you know, all off season, Paul, about this Georgia Alabama game thinking about the game and you know I, I i assumed it was going to be a close game i think most people did <clears throat> but grayson lambert but now 33 out of 35 and, and i i get it that it's not top-notch competition really but yeah to say the least I, you know i'll admit that but alabama's quarterbacks can't do that in pre-game warm-ups 33 out of 35 it, I mean, if he plays half that good this game could get ugly quick you don't agree you know, I, I disagree with you on that, and I think everyone acknowledges Alabama's quarterbacks are, are are questionable, but I'm still not sure Grayson Lambert dealing with Alabama's defensive front. I know people have criticized them, but I'm not one of them. I think that's a real issue for him. Yeah, if they can get some pressure, he really hadn't – you know, he's been under really no pressure at all. So Well, we'll that, that's based on the there. opposition, but to me, that, that's yeah. really a, a key part of this game. And, and, and what does Georgia's defense look like? Uh, we haven't seen them against a, a decent team yet either. That's true. Uh, that's very true. Now, what, what chances do you give Nick Chubb of, uh, of continuing this 100-yard game streak? Regardless of the outcome of the yeah, game. Yeah, I, I, I think Nick Chubb's one of the best running backs in the country, so uh, I give him a really good chance of that. Yeah, I think he'll get his 100. I really think the dogs are going to win this one, Paul. I thought it was going to be close. Alabama hasn't been able to stop the pass for two years. It's not a secret. Uh, everybody knows. Uh, you, you know, we'll run the ball. We'll throw some on first down. I, I, could, I could really see the dogs winning this one by 14 to 17 points. Okay. Well, uh, uh, you, know, if you, you know, that's what, you, know, you hear so much about Alabama and Ole Miss. Well, Alabama had a chance at the end. But Alabama was also down by 19 at home. So, Pick your poison when it comes to where you are in Alabama. Let's move along and...